Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today I am going to solve the chapter 10 Rocks and Minerals from Class 5 Science Book and also try to find out some extra question answers that means inside question answer from this chapter. Before we start, requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can find all the videos easily and you can get all the notifications from the channel. If you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box and if you have missed any videos then please try to check out the playlist or description box. So let's start rocks and minerals. Here we have some objectives. Number B fill in the blanks. Before we start the question answer I just want to solve the objective parts and then I will give you the question answer. Okay. Number B, fill in the blanks. Number 1, the mantle lies below the arch crust. Number 2, when lava cools quickly on the surface of the earth, igneous rocks are formed. Number 3, the red fort of Delhi made up of sedimentary rocks. Number 4, metamorphic rocks are combination of igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks. Number 5, marble is a metamorphic rock while granite is a igneous rock. Number 7, hematite is ore of iron metal while bauxite is the ore of aluminium. Number 7, anthracite is highest heating value while peat has the least heating value. Number 8, petroleum and coal are most valuable mineral on the earth. Next number C, name the following rocks. A rock that is full of air pockets and can float on water that is pumice. Number 2. A rock which is used to polish various ornaments. Conglomerate. Number 3. A metamorphic rock formed from the limestone marble. Number 4. A rock that has sharp edges and contain feldspar and pyroxene basalt. Number 5. A smooth rock of clay used in making bricks and tiles. Shell. Number 6. A rock that contains quartz, feldspar and mica, granite. Number 7. A soft stone that is made when sand grains cement together. Metamorphic rock. Number 8. A sedimentary rock that burns with great heat. Metamorphic rocks. Next number D. Short notes. Basalt. Basalt is formed on cooling of lava. It has sharp edges. It contains feldspar and pyroxene as minerals contained. It is dense, dark and contains fine grains. Basalt is used in the construction of buildings due to its hardness and strength as mineral content of basalt in rich in iron. Granite. When magma cools beneath the earth's surface, it is formed. It is found is, uh, usually in white and grey in color. It consists mica, quartz and feldspar as minerals. Granite is used in the formation of statues and flooring of the houses as it is very hard. Next number 3. Limestone. Limestone is mainly formed by mineral calcite, a part of tiny sea animal shell. It is usually found white and grey in color. Limestone is used as shock to write on the blackboard in making of cement bricks and glass. Next number 4 quartzite. Quartzite is formed from sandstone. It is too hard that it can cause a scratch on steel. Quartzite is used to make statues in watches in making glass and also used as gemstone. Last one number 5 pumice. Pumice is formed due to quick cooling of lava on the earth's surface. It has many holes because air is trapped inside it during its rate cooling. It is very light as air is trapped in it and so it can float on the water. We use it to clean and scrub the foot sole. It is used in polishing the floors as are decorative rocks and by the dentist to polish tooth. Next, it's time for question answer from the exercise. Number 1. What is the structure of the earth? The earth crust is made up of varied masses of minerals and rocks. 
the structure of the earth is composed of three main layers they are uppermost layer is a hard crust in the middle there uh, is mantle and innermost layer is mainly molten that consists of nickel and iron number two what are rocks how many kinds of rocks are there these are the solids from which our crust is made up of there are three kinds of rocks they are igneous rocks sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks number three what is igneous rock how, uh, how does it form the word igneous means resembling fire so the rocks that are made from the fire or heat are known as igneous rock due to intense pressure the deep molten material inside the earth comes up to the surface this molten material is called magma when it is comes to the surface and cools and becomes hardened just below the crust of the earth it is known as igneous rocks many times during volcanic eruption this molten magma comes up in the form of lava it cools and hardens to form igneous rocks number 4 explain any two igneous rocks granite when magma cools beneath the earth surface it is formed usually in white is white in white or green color it consists mica quartz and feldspar as minerals uses used in the formation of statues and flooring of the houses as it is very hard next pumice it is formed due to quick cooling of lava on the earth surface it has many holes because air is trapped inside it during great cooling it is very light as air is trapped in it and so it can float on the water uses we use it to clean and scrub the food soil used in polishing the floors used as a decorative rocks used by the dentist to polish too next number 5 differentiate between the sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks sedimentary they are found through the solidification of the sediment, uh, sediment. they can be formed from organic remains or from the cementing of other rocks metamorphic they are formed through the change of igneous and sedimentary rocks they can form both underground and at the surface number 6 which type of rock is used for writing on the blackboard and slate how does it formed limestone is used for writing on the blackboard and slate it is mainly formed by mineral calcite a part of tiny sea and uh, tiny uh, sea animal shell it is usually gray or white in color number 7 which rocks is used in the red fort at delhi explain its structure and formation sandstone is used in the red fort at delhi it is found from the cementing of sand sized grain it consists of quartz as mineral it is available in brown pink red and or yellow in color number 8 what is what are minerals naturally occurring substances having definite chemical composition found mostly in rocks number 9 name two metallic and two non metallic minerals bauxite and hematite are metallic and coal and petrol petroleum are non metallic metal, minerals number 10 what are the natural resources why we need to conserve it things that are provided by the nature and useful to us is called natural resources we human for our selfish reason spoiling our natural resources cutting up forest polluting of air water and land are some of the ways by when our natural resource gets depleted as we know that coal and petroleum need millions of years to form and we have limited stock of our minerals too even we are using these things at too faster rate that that it will cause a threat of future generation we should take steps forward in conserving or protecting our natural resources in other words if we want to enjoy the benefits of this resources in years to come we must conserve them now it's time to solve the inside question answer by which the earth crust is made up of the earth crust is made up of varied masses of minerals and rocks which are the three layers of earth that already has done so i just move to the next question number 3 what are boulders very large rocks 
are known as boulders number 4 what are pebbles rocks of small or medium in size which are in part of broken boulders are known as pebbles number 5 what are sand or soil very tiny or tiny size rocks are called sand or uh, soil by which the large rocks are broken down large rocks are broken down by the net natural forces of wind water or and sun heat next how many rocks are there on the basis of formation hardness texture color and the mineral on the basis of formation hardness texture color and mineral composition rocks are classified in three kinds igneous rocks sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks what does the word igneous means the word igneous means resembling fire which rocks are known as igneous rocks how does it formed the rocks that are made from the fire or heat are known as igneous rocks when molten comes out to the surface and cools uh, and become hardened just below the crust of the earth is known as igneous rock what is magma due to the intense pressure the deep molten material inside the earth comes up to the surface this molten material is called magma this is a one word answer the first rock on the earth that is igneous rock next minerals which most of the mountains consist of rocks quartz structure and formation of gra granite that has already done so i move to the next question structure and formation of pumice it is formed due to quick cooling of lava on the earth surface it has many holes because they are disturbed it has already done also so i move to the next question structure and formation of basalt has already done what are sedimentary rocks the rocks that are formed due to the continuous deposition of sand clay and small particles which are exposed to continuous pressure are called sedimentary rocks name the different kinds of sedimentary rocks there are different kinds of sedimentary rocks conglomerate rocks limestone rocks sandstone rocks and shell rocks structure and formation of conglomerate rocks it is formed from the cementing of pebble sized rocks fragments it has uneven surface Uh, uh, available in either grey or orange in color. Next, uses of conglomerate used to polish various ornaments to provide lusterity, that means shine. Also, they are used or ornamental rocks. Structure and formation of limestone, mainly formed by mineral calcite, a part of tiny sea animal shell, usually white, white and grey in color. Uses of limestone used. it has already done so i move to the next question structure and formation of sandstone formed from the cementing of sand sized grains it consists of quartz as mineral available in black brown pink red or yellow in color uses of sandstone used in the construction of building the red fort at delhi and agra is made of sandstone structure and formation of shell it is hardened layer of clay it is very smooth uses of shell used in making tiles and bricks by which material glass is made up of glass is made up of silica sand and limestone what are metamorphic rocks or how does metamorphic rock form changes in the igneous and sedimentary rocks due to heat and pressure forms the metamorphic rocks name some metamorphic rocks marble gneiss slate quartzite uses of marble used in making sink tops and bath tubs mainly used making statues uses of gneiss used as a building stone and in forming platforms and kitchen uses of quartzite used to make statues in watches in making glass and also used in gemstone how many minerals does granite contain granite has three minerals how are minerals obtained minerals are obtained either by digging in the ground or by cutting out from a hill or in quarries what is quarry a quarry is a large open hole in the ground or side of the hill why granite is known known as a basic rock and the most important rock on the earth surface 
granite contains all the minerals such as quartz, feldspar and mica. So it is the basic rock and the most important rock on the earth's surface. Differentiate between metallic minerals and non-metallic minerals. Minerals from which metals are extracted are known as metallic minerals. These are also known as ores. Non-metallic minerals, minerals which do not contain metal are called non-metallic minerals. Example of metallic rocks, metallic minerals, bauxite, hematite and non-metallic minerals, coal and petrol, petroleum. Name some type of coal, peat, lignite, bituminous, anthracite. Which non-metallic mineral is known as soft coal? That is bituminous. Which non-metallic mineral is known as hard coal? That is anthracite. Which non-metallic mineral has the highest heating value? Anthracite. Name some places in India where coal mines are found. Dhanbad, Naveli, Raniganj. Which mineral is known as black coal? Petroleum. What is crude oil? The petroleum which is found under the ground is known as crude oil. So, here we come to the end. We have solved the chapter rocks and minerals. So again requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications from the video from the channel. And if you have missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist. And if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box. So that's all for today. See you in the next, next video. Till then bye and take care.